So I'm willing to bet last week you were just like me. You overate, you had food so good that your tongue tried to slap your brain. And for many of you, after that last bite um, of your second helping or that last bite of dessert or that last bite of your second helping of dessert, you lean back in your chair, you patted your belly, and you let out an exhaustive breath with a with pleasurable disgust. Woo! I just ate way too much. Um, I did that. My question is, when is the last time you put yourself in a position to feed your, your mental state with so much positivity that no matter how full your brain felt, that no matter how many good thoughts you scooped into your gray matter, right? That after 15 and 20 minutes of showing, which by the way is about the amount of time we spend eating every meal, right? That after 15 or 20 minutes of shoveling that stuff, scooping up and consuming that, that goodness that you lean back, you patted your head and you said, woo, I just ate way too much. We will almost on the dot, we will eat three meals a day religiously, right? To f fuel your physical nature. But how often are you feeding your mind with the most positive thoughts possible? How often are you even consuming and having conversations with coaches, mentors, and, and fellow mastermind members, right? I'm willing to bet a considerable amount of money that most of you um, it's not three times a day every day, right? For, for some of you, it's not even three times a week, three times a month, or quite possibly, uh, worst case scenario, not even three times a year because you don't have a coach, you don't have a mentor, you don't belong to a single mastermind. In my opinion, everyone needs a, a seasonal coach, uh, at least one a year, right? Uh, what I mean by that is, is think about sports. Right, you typically play one sport a year. Uh, you have that coach for that season. You need to hire a coach for a temporary set of time every single year. Usually, those are about ninety day windows, right? And then you're off on your way to play whatever game you're playing, right? Um, you need at least one mentor, and and you need to be part of at least two masterminds. Uh, if you're like me, people may look at you, and they may be confident saying. Well, that boy hasn't missed a meal in quite a long time. They're correct, right? Physically, I have not missed a meal in quite a long time. Um, I'm going to do something about that here come January 1. However, if we had the ability to look at our, our mindsets, right, your, your positive mindset, um, would we be concerned that your positive mindset is suffering from anorexia, right? Uh, if we did have that power, we might look at you and say, damn, let's get you something to eat before a wind blows you away. I don't know why I just went really country there. Uh, I guess I'm going back to my roots. Anyway, guys, as we're wrapping up 2020 and I do, I do feel like we're wrapping up 2020, although this is just the second day of December. Um, I think mainly because I'm already recording podcasts that are going to go live in January. Um, I've got my calendar here. Uh, I'll show you if I can turn this around real quick. So that's my 21, 2021 calendar. As you can, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but basically through the end of February, uh, and I've got some dates sprinkled out through the year, it's already filled up, right? So I feel like we're wrapping up 2021. Hopefully, you're also making plans for 2021, right? And when you're doing that, if you're budgeting or whatever the case may be for, for you and, and your business, um, I don't want you to overlook the value, <clears throat> excuse me, that the value of the right coach is going to bring into your life. Um, I don't want you to look over the, the guide, that, that mentor, right, that can provide you with the experience they have because they've already been through. Uh, what you've what you've been through, or w what you're about to go through, or what you want to go through, right? And I don't want you to overlook the um, accountability and motivation that the right mastermind group will give you. 
Um, and I say two because I think every mastermind group has its own personality. Um, and you're going to get so much out of, out of both of them that you actually need to, right? Let's keep that momentum. 2021 is coming around the corner. I feel like after December 1st, Ricky Bobby says slingshot engage and we're, we're in January 1st, right? Really, really quickly. At least that's what it feels like every year. So guys, let's keep that momentum.